Well, with the deal of Declan Rice covering all stories in all angles of Arsenal, Arsenal fans have been flocking into the comment section asking me, Brokani, what's about Julian Timba? What about Kai Havertz? And here I come with stories that you guys deserve to know about these two because they've been so much shadowed by the transfer of Declan Rice as Arsenal is still doing its final touches and I think very soon we'll be hearing that Arsenal have gone ahead to agree a deal with West Ham on Declan Rice. But Julian Timber is waiting for Arsenal, looking like Arsenal have gone ahead to put this deal on the pause so either they will get the Declan Rice deal over the line and they really announce the rest of the signings like I have it. So welcome to this channel, Rockani Media Football. How are you guys? It's the Arsenal News Show that you guys are really enjoying. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you do upload in here on a daily. And uh, we are talking Jorginho again, how Arsenal went ahead to really excite him on his arrival and Nwaneri, one of those young talents that made their debuts at the age of 15 as Arsenal beat Brentford by three goals to nil and his future. As rumors were, he might be stepping out of Arsenal after Man City and Chelsea have gone ahead to elevate their interest to sign the player <coughs> this summer. So, let's start it with smashing 300 likes onto this video. Then, let's subscribe to this channel so as not to hit, to as, so as to help us hit a milestone of 15,000 subscribers before the end of today because tomorrow is 29th. Hope the Muslims have gone ahead to end day your Idi. Idi Aduha, no invitation from any Muslim person, but that's okay. But we've been serving the country right. Not so. I think we've been serving you right and I think you guys have been enjoying it. My Christian friends, hope you guys are really ready to say prayers and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And let's start it off with a story coming in from the Sky Sports News. They've told us that the final details on the paperwork are being completed before the formal announcement of Kai Havertz move from Chelsea and Arsenal. Positive talks also continue with Ajax over signing Julian Timber. There is increased confidence a deal can be struck. <coughs> Sorry about that. That's a statement you'll always want to hear, especially when it comes to Julian Timba, that there is increased confidence a deal can be struck. So, Arsenal and Ajax have really reached a certain level of agreement as far as Julian Timba to Arsenal is really concerned. Why? Because if they had not agreed, they would have gone ahead to reject that bid, meaning that the bid is significant Ajax is willing to listen to the offer of Arsenal and obviously find themselves in a situation obviously giving in for Arsenal and especially as far as this deal is concerned of Julian Timber. And I understand what Arsenal are really going in through and they've gone ahead to poise every deal and they want to get other deals over the line. And Fabrizio Roman has gone ahead to throw in an update about Julian Timber to Arsenal and this is what he had to say. Arsenal efforts are 100% of Declan Rice now, working hard to get it done and sailed very soon. Club submitted 45 to 48 million euro bid to Ajax for Julian Timber on Monday and are also expected to advance on the deal once Rice signs. Timber waiting for Arsenal. So, in a very simple language, he would obviously try to insinuate that the deal has been paused, right? The deal has been put onto the pause. Now, having been put onto the pause, calls in for lots of tension coming from Arsenal fans. Maybe Bayern Munich is back. There is a hijack that is coming in through. Guys, there is no hijack coming in through for the Julian Timber deal. Everything looks fine and okay. But Arsenal's efforts have been directed to Declan Rice and if I told that Declan Rice deal is done then Arsenal will progress because Timber is eagerly waiting and I think he's understanding how huge the deal of Declan Rice is because of the amount of money that is involved in it. It's a mammoth of a deal that we can call astronomical you know in this business language of 
what we are having right now here onto the Rokani Media Football. So for for Julian Timber, <coughs> obviously a bid is in Arsenal and Ajax are still contemplating on it. If at all Ajax want more, they will go ahead and really inform Arsenal. But it looks like they are willing to negotiate onto that deal. Because if at all they are willing to <coughs> really see themselves reject the bid, they would have gone ahead to reject it on Monday. Second bid in and they are contemplating <coughs> onto the source to see to it that they really get the deal over the line. For Kai Havertz, Fabrizio Roman has gone ahead and really confirmed us that Kai Havertz has signed all documents as new Arsenal player on Monday. Arsenal and Chelsea signed all contracts already on Sunday. Club statement soon. And as I told you that Declan Rice is the elephant in the room. And all these have gone ahead to be paused. Meaning that when Declan Rice, when Declan Rice's deal is coming to completion, all the other deals are suspended. Even those of Kai Havertz that have gotten to that have gotten done cannot get announced because Arsenal knows how it won't give them the shine that they deserve. And I think they did it intentionally. That's why yesterday they really went ahead to release what we call a leaked vi unveiling video of um, of Kai Havertz because they knew that they're not going to announce him today and they anticipated a very huge and busy day today that the entire football fraternity is going to be following the deal of Declan Rice and a record-breaking deal doesn't find itself announced that way and they're taking their time and Kai Havertz will understand it because Arsenal is trying to do the better for itself. If they're going to announce Declan Rice and Kai Havertz on the same day, God knows, but it will be a very good plan put up by Arsenal in place to really get these deals over the line. But Kai Havertz, for him, He's a 100% an Arsenal player. Papers signed with Chelsea. That is done and dusted. Julian Timber, obviously, matter of time. When the deal of that rice is done and the Hugo is gotten, you'll see to it that Arsenal approaches the Dutch side that is Ajax to sign Julian Timber. And soon he'll be unveiled or flying to he'll be flying to London to undergo his medical. Then after undergoing his medical, he'll be unveiled as an Arsenal player and so it's going to be a busy week for Arsenal as we hit Thursday Friday it's going to be a busy week because if at all a here we go is got in tonight or tomorrow that means Fabricio Rom that means Declan Rice will undergo his medical on Friday that is it on um, all Saturday and on Monday the big news will be announced that Declan Rice is now a red or a goner so that's what we anticipate and I think I've gone ahead to serve your interests as required because that question has been so much everywhere. What about Julian Timber? I've gone ahead to reveal you what is happening on Julian Timber. Now, Noah Neri is what you're going to discuss about. You know, scares are really so much that the player might leave Arsenal. And Fabrizio Romano has dropped a huge hint about this story saying that it is also my understanding that Arsenal have still chances to keep highly rated youngster Nwaneri. They are trying their best despite links with Chelsea and Man City. This will be discussed in the next days and so should become more clear soon. <coughs> Sorry about that. The situation of Nwaneri is really baffling, you know, as a uh, it always happens that at the age of 16, that's where most players really cross, especially the academy players, because their contract they signed just elapses and they can easily walk out on a free. So it requires a team to have convinced the player and his family to really have it in mind that he should stay and they're having a bright future for the player. But if I don't have no one I stay at Arsenal. You know, there is that sympathy that is always gotten by the coach of the team when you've gone ahead to be at the club from the age of 10 until the age of 16. Every time you progress, they'll try to elevate you and bring you into the first team. With uh, Jack Wilshere training these young boys, he obviously knows his potential and I think you recommend him to Mikel Ateta. And he has already been shown that 
he might be the next big thing coming out of the academy after Emily Smith Rowe Martinelli and um, and Bokayo Saka because he was given his debut at the age of 15 and Arsenal was playing Brentford and he came in through and played like five minutes in that game. He had some brilliant touches and moreover that game was away from home. That is it. That game was away from home. It was really a very exciting gesture by Mikel Teta and a sign of love to Ethan Waneri. But if Ethan Waneri feels like he's not valued a lot at Arsenal, I think he should leave. But if you ask me, of the three teams, where is Waneri so much, so much uh, near to getting to the first team? I think it's easy for him to break through in the first team of Arsenal than that of Chelsea, than that of Man City. For Man City, they already have their own young players. The Palmers, the Lewises of this world, whom they've gone ahead to elevate. And trust me, they're the ones that are going to get themselves into the starting eleven of City in the next one or two years. So, for Chelsea, the struggling team, they'll need like two, three years to settle back to where they're supposed to be and that will call in for them to find themselves in a position of <clears throat> not giving room to young time to come through obviously break through at the age of 16 if at all he was like 19 maybe but Hutchinson and Chukumeka are being planned for developmental loans meaning that even Waneri cannot really break through but for us no I think he can easily break through because there is space and his talent is really immense and Mikel Ateta has gotten ahead to love the player a lot, you know? Unless his family is money oriented, but if at all they care a lot about the career of this young man, they should leave him at Arsenal. That is it. Because teams like Chelsea will come in with a lot of money, um, Man City the same, but I think it's better and Wanedi stayed in. Arsenal for his beta development. That's my view, but I don't know what his family is thinking about the player. So lastly, let's discuss a little bit of Jorginho and how he enjoys Arsenal. He has gone ahead and really told the Evening Standard through the Arsenal correspondent of the Evening Standard known as Simon Collins that, to be honest, I was surprised but really happy by how welcome i was arsenal treated me when i came in it just made everything so much easier for me to know much to, for me to know more people to integrate in the team now when you look at him he was loved by the manager that is michaela tater but the way the players of arsenal really respected him The players of Arsenal respected him because he's a winner and they had played against him several occasions in the midfield when he's playing for Chelsea and they felt his intent. The likes of Bukayo Saka had faced his wrath when they lost to Italy in the finals of the Euros 2021 at Wembley. So, as it stands, he was respected a lot because of his experience and obviously his talent is undoubted and uh, what you do on training really calls in for either to be respected or to be disrespe disrespected but Eugenio is a player who has gone ahead to prove a lot on the training sessions of Arsenal and there is no reason as to why these players of Arsenal could not give him the respect that he deserves. They passed on the respect, they welcomed him very well and he did the job in his first six months at Arsenal and is waiting to keep himself informed on whether Ateta will be willing to front him as his new CDM in the soon starting season of 2023-2024, especially in that game where Arsenal is going to be tussling it out with City in the Community Shield on the 5th or 6th of August this year. So guys, your thoughts on the Julian Timber waiting for Arsenal to come in through and obviously get his deal done. I welcome in the comment section below. Kai Havertz, papers signed, so 100% Arsenal player pending announcement but the announcement is expected as soon as possible the declaration deal is concerned and no one heady 
What advice would you give Nwaneri? Should he stay at Arsenal or leave? And lastly, Jorginho, we will come at Arsenal. What do you make about it? Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. Ciao, ciao.